Hello and welcome to my new series. I'm going to be working with something called my MSW Logo. Now, if you've never used this language before, it's quite a nice language. I quite enjoy using it. And it's a functional language, so it's, it's a little bit confusing sometimes, but it works as a good teaching language. It's very useful. Now, I'm sorry if I squeak in pain, but I've got a broken leg at the moment. Uh, it's in a cast, so you have to let me off. Um, hear my chair squeaking, it means I'm moving because my leg hurts. Uh, but now, on to the actual language. Um, right, so here's the basics. So here's your commander, right about here. And then here's your turtle over here. This is a Nice little turtle, I like my turtle. Now you can actually change that turtle from anything by giving it a bitmap, bitmap image. Um, it, I don't know how to do that yet. I will include that in a different tutorial later on. Um, now, first things first, we want to move forwards. So, forwards is FD space 100 literally that simple and then we click enter and bang there we are a little stick and an arrow on top now something you should know about logo is that it traces everything that the turtle does whenever you make it do anything so now if I move backwards, which is BK, and then 200, it will actually extend the line, double it, and go down. There. Beautiful. Now it looks like I've got an arrow. As in, not like the arrow that you draw on a page, like an arrow that you shoot out of a bow. Um, yeah, so that's the basics. And then if we want to turn left, we do L T for left turn and then we do the amount of degrees we want now I'm going to turn it left 90 okay so right now if I now do forward 200 good now we want to turn right here so we do right turn then 100 so RT 100 Oh, we don't want 100. Hang on. LT 10. That's better. And then we go forward 200. Now we've got like an unfinished cube. So we're going to have to right turn 90 again. Then we're going to have to go forwards 200. There. Now we have a square. Well, actually, if I left turn 45 you can see it easier there you go that's better right now we have a complete square now squares are pretty simple it's not really that hard you can do it all in right turns and things now what I'm gonna do now is get you into a subroutine now so for that we need to type in edit and then space, and then double quotes, or shift two, and then let's just call it SQU for square. Now, this simple little subroutine window should come up. Uh, I'll leave a link to download MSW logo in the description if you want it you watch me and just like oh yeah I want that mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah because everyone talks like that um, so we want it to repeat sorry my voice is going four because the square has four sides and then we want it to go forward oh a square bracket now if you don't know where the square bracket button is <coughs> sorry it's next to the enter button 
on to this left not the one with the hashtag or the apostrophe but the two above them now if you don't press shift and just push them you'll get a nice little cube now we want it to forwards 100 and then right turn 90 no right sorry about that uh, my computer had just uh, told me I was doing it wrong and then we close it with a, another square bracket now if you go up to here and click file and then save and exit now if we just reset this if now we type in SQU should draw us a nice little square yay nice little square right now now we can go on to the more complicated stuff now that we know how to use a subroutine now if you don't know how to use a subroutine then I suggest you scoot you back a little bit and just keep looking at it and just keep having a go at it and keep going now right so you know I'm actually going to do triangles next time uh, it sounds pretty boring but it's actually quite difficult you have to get all the angles right and all the length right so um, I will see you guys later thank you for watching goodbye